Hi, welcome to biology classes with Lakshmi Chandra. In today's session, I'll take you to a different concept. We all have, we all know about cancer, tumor and all. We have heard this as biology students, we know about this also. But have we ever heard of a plant getting a cancer or a tumor? And how that can be changed into some useful mechanisms for genetic engineering? In today's session, I'll take you towards that particular aspect. Tumors in plants, the causative agents, and how that, is, that has become beneficial for biotechnological applications. I think it is very interesting for all of you. We will learn about this particular bacterium first, Agrobacterium tumefaciens. Agrobacterium tumefaciens. This is a soil bacterium. So this is found in soil. Okay. And in, it generally infects dicot plants. Dicot plants. And you know in which region of the dicot plant it affects? It affects the crown region of the dicot plants. Crown region. We should know what is this crown region of a plant first. Okay, let me just uh, draw a rough uh, figure for you. If this is the root region of a plant and you have the shoot region above with leaves and all. Okay, flowers, fruits, everything you are having here. Fine, just a rough figure I have drawn. This region, that is the region which is there joining the root as well as the stem. You have a region there. This region is called as the crown region of the plant. So this is a soil bacterium. It's naturally, it will be present in the soil. And this soil bacterium is affecting this particular region, crown region of the plant. Okay. Now how does that affect it? In this region, it causes the cells to multiply drastically. Okay, multiply very quickly and so it causes tumor there. It causes tumor in the crown region of dicot plants. Okay, and this whole disease is named as the crown gall disease. Crown because it is in the crown region, gall because it is a group of cells like a ball of cells, it will be a bunch of cells. So this like tumor it is, so it is called as crown gall disease. So agrobacterium tumefaciens, it is a soil bacterium and its general nature is that it will cause crown gall disease. Now as I told you in the beginning, how it is getting beneficial for or how we can utilize this particular disease into some useful form. To understand that, let me take you to the molecular reason behind this disease. Why this disease is getting this cost? Okay, what is the molecular reason behind that? So, when the molecular reason was analyzed, scientists were actually analyzing what is the main main cause of this disease. Okay, so. This bacterium, agrobacterium tumefaciens was analyzed. It has got chromosome as usual bacteria they have. Okay. And apart from this chromosome, it is having a plasmid. It is having a plasmid. And this tumor or the crown call disease is associated with this plasmid. And so this plasmid is named as TI plasmid. TI plasmid, it refers to tumor inducing plasmid. So, agrobacterium tumefaciens is having a plasmid called as TI plasmid. In this TI plasmid, it is having a particular region. This region is called as tDNA region, tDNA or transfer DNA region. You know what this bacterium can do with the help of this? It can transmit its whole TI plasmid into this plant cell. As I've drawn before, the plant cell. This, if tDNA region is present, 
this ti plasmid can enter into this crown region of the plant that means it can transfer itself so that region is responsible for transferring the ti plasmid the part of ti plasmid into the crown region of the plant so that is tdna transfer dna it is part of ti plasmid okay and once this ti plasmid is transferred this ti plasmid is having certain regions i will mark here it as onco regions that means it has got cancer causing regions it has got cancer causing regions and because of the presence of this cancer causing regions the cells here will start multiplying very quickly very fast okay and you will get a gall or a crown a gall like appearance a bunch of cells are there present together so the it will cause crown gall disease okay so the main reason is because tdna is there only if tdna is there this ti plasmid can enter into the particular dicot plants and it will get the disease only when this cancer causing region is there so this is the basic molecular reason now our aim is how we can make this useful for gene cloning uh, studies okay for gene cloning in plants so what we do is we need this tdna isn't it tdna we need because only then it will get transferred into the plant otherwise it will not get transferred but what we don't want is this cancer causing region this we don't want so what we can do is instead of this cancer causing regions here instead of this in here we can insert our gene of interest we can insert our gene of interest or any foreign gene any gene we can insert here without harming the tdna region without harming rest of its promoters and all we can just insert our gene of interest so what we have done we have removed the cancer causing gene so removing this regions which is harming the plant when once you remove it you say that the ti plasmid is disarmed the ti plasmid is disarmed disarmed means there are no arms and ammunitions to fight with and to cause cancer over there you have disarmed that and instead what did you do you have inserted a gene of interest so tdna is there naturally it will be inserted into the plant okay but what will not be caused the crown gall disease will not be there instead your gene of interest will be there okay so this is happening uh, naturally in the case of soil bacterium instead of this crown gall or uh, instead of this crown region after disarming this and putting your gene of interest you can just take this ti plasmid and you can put it into a leaf tissue okay a leaf tissue or a stem tissue any any part of the plant you can put it and once this leaf tissue is actually transformed the plant cells are transformed you can grow it using tissue culture you can culture it under artificial conditions regarding tissue culture i'll be taking a separate section for you so you can just grow it under artificial medium through tissue culture you will get the whole plant not one two three you will get plenty of plants having our gene of interest okay so that it can be very much useful so these are the steps you have the ti plasmid tumor inducing plasmid which is having the tdna what you do is you disarm this ti plasmid and you insert the gene of interest so what do you get is you get a recombinant ti plasmid okay combination is changed you have removed the cancer causing region you have inserted another region there so what happened combination is changed so now you call this as recombinant ti plasmid and then this recombinant ti plasmid is inserted into agrobacterium this particular bacterium back okay so now this bacterium is having another gene of interest so what do you call this bacterial cell as it is a transformed cell 
So it's transformed agrobacterium tumefaciens now. Now you make this transformed agrobacterium tumefaciens to transform the plant cell, any cell, any cell or tissue you can take and you can make it to transform it under uh, very sterile and artificial conditions. Once the cells are transformed, you will select such cells and you can propagate them through tissue culture. So this is how through using agrobacterium tumefaciens, which is actually a very harmful bacterium causing crown gall disease to plants. But by understanding, by digging into the molecular details of that, we have made it into a very useful vector for plants. So, if in your question paper it is asked, name a vector for uh, uh, plants, cloning plants, you can say the name of the vector as Ti plasmid. This is the vector, not the bacteria. Okay, so vector is Ti plasmid. Ti is tumor inducing. It is present in agrobacterium which is a soil bacterium which causes crown gall disease. Now what you do is you are disarming the disease we don't want. Instead you are putting the gene of interest and then you are going for uh, transforming the plant cell followed by tissue culture. So that you will get lots and lots of plants with your gene of interest. So hope you have understood today's session. Uh, those who are uh, watching this channel for the first time, I would request you to subscribe, support, keep watching and asking doubts if any. Thank you all.